Eccentric millionaire Robert Durst is due back in a New Orleans courtroom on Monday. His lawyers want him released before he's tried on charges of murdering a friend in California. This week, in a film about his life, Durst appeared to confess to three killings. Durst's attorney has now given his first interview to Aaron Moriarty of 48 Hours, who's with us now. Aaron? Hey, Scott. Every day, there seems to be a new twist in this case. Robert Durst's lead attorney, Dick DeGuerin, told us that while his client was in custody in New Orleans, Los Angeles County prosecutors went in to see him early Sunday morning without his lawyer present and taped a nearly three-hour interview. DeGuerin, who's successfully defending him in a previous murder case, is outraged. L.A. prosecutors declined to comment. Clearly, this is going to be a hard-fought legal battle. Robert Durst, not guilty. You were successful as the lead attorney in Galveston, and he was acquitted of murder. It's going to be a lot tougher in L.A., isn't it? I don't know. I think the, the evidence uh, here is a lot more troublesome for the prosecution. Not only is it a circumstantial evidence case, it's a weak circumstantial evidence case. And key to the case, this anonymous letter, which prosecutors believe was written by Susan Berman's killer. While LAPD forensic analysts initially thought the letter was written by a friend of Berman's, now they've concluded that it matches Robert Durst's handwriting. What kind of science is that? Uh, uh, as Burr Rabbit would say, throw me in that briar patch. I say it's junk science. But doesn't that mean that he could be the writer of the cadaver letter? I'm not saying that he is or isn't uh, the writer. I don't believe he is, but th there's no proof. There's no fingerprints, there's no DNA, there's no scientific stuff that they can rely on. Robert Durst was moved to a prison with a hospital unit because authorities say he's suicidal. His attorneys who dispute that are bringing in his psychiatrist to evaluate him. So, Aaron, what's next in the case? Well, as you know, the lawyers right now have filed a motion questioning the legality of these weapon charges that were filed in New Orleans. So he'll be back in court on Monday. They're asking for bail. I don't think he's going to get it. Aaron Moriarty, thanks very much. You can see Aaron's report, The Bizarre Saga of Robert Durst, on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, 9 Central, or immediately following NCAA basketball right here on CBS.